I need to know every last detail about your date with Teddy, and I like my stories raunchy. Go! <laughs> it was so cute. We went out to dinner, we took a romantic walk in the park, and then he took me home, uh, kissed me goodnight, and I went to bed. Oh, by myself, of course. By yourself? The hell kind of story is that? It's sweet, Cherie. I don't want to go too fast. I mean, office romances can be so murky. Oh, because of all the sex in the copy room. Cherie, no. I can't believe I waited all weekend for a crap story like that. I was expecting steamy tales of love from the bathroom stalls. Or how he roughed you up and then took off his belt, Cherie, tied your hands no. to the bed. Post. No, no, no. It was just a lovely evening. If you say so. You know, you and I should double date sometime. Oh, are you seeing someone? I'm kind of in between men right now, but I got a couple suitors lined up. All I have to do is figure out which one of them I can get to first base. Which is what I consider sex on the hood of a car. You see, oh, it's no, fun no, no, because no. if the car's la, la, moving, you can't get pregnant. Can but when it you? stops, la, 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 that's la, when the fun begins. Because then you, you can, can you? get on la, top la, la, no. of the not hood listening. of the car, not, not the man. Me. Although, no, no, if no, you're that la, type la, of person, you know, can you believe this? Ever since they stopped minting the penny, every other country is doing it too. The penny, the pence, the palushka, even the galleon. I know these magic cutbacks are brutal. I mean, just the other day, I had to tell a little boy I couldn't give him a race car. Well, not so much as couldn't as didn't want to. I mean, I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I brought another NASCAR driver into this world. It's getting worse. It's starting to look like we'll have to let someone go. What? May I remind you that not a month ago you told me I was the best fairy you had and you can't afford to lose- Fire Cherie, she's dead to me now! Oh, calm down, dearie. There's no way I could bring myself to fire someone. This company is like a family to me. If only there were some cold, calculating computer who could do it for me. Someone without bias and totally devoid of all human emotion and compassion. Tell me in one adjective, one noun, and one adverb why I shouldn't fire you. here as fast as I could. We lied about the donuts. Damn it! We only called you here for one reason. Yvette. Travis has a plan. Wendy, please. I have a plan. Yvette only needs to fire one person, right? If we play our cards right, we can make sure it isn't either one of us. Or me. I can't lose this job. I just made business cards. This says Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. I have over 100 of them. So what's the plan? That bitch Carla in ad sales. Ooh, I hate her. Everybody does. We go in there when Yvette evaluates us and make Carla sound like a bitch. Which she is. Which she is. We can make sure that both of us keep our jobs. And me. Right. Of course. What's that? I can see both of you. Give me 23 things you bring to this company that other employees don't. Well, I... Go. Hey, you didn't say you were going to time me. 30 seconds. You didn't say how long I had. 10 seconds. There's no way that was 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Oh, you know, junk in the trunk. Hoppity hops. I've got uh, addiction. Oh, these are all negative things. Except junk in the trunk. I can't believe someone's getting fired. Do you think it'll be me? Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, the fountain department's only one person. Without you, who's gonna grant the wishes? Well, that's true. But what about you? I'm not concerned. I mean, I am incredibly charming. You know, Yvette's not exactly a people person. What do you think the interview will be like? 
Well, you know how Vikings would brutally tear down and torch villages and make fun of puppies and stuff? Yeah. Probably something like that. Huh. Who are you again? Uh, I'm, I'm Wendy. I'm the new new girl. You hired me. Why shouldn't I fire you? Um, I think I can best answer that. Through song. Oh god, no, 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 stop. A vet is pretty, a vet is mean, a vet is nice, a vet has a spleen, a vet is stitching across from me. I love a vet, please don't fire me. Look, I'll let you keep your job, just promise me you'll burn that ukulele. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Carla from Adsos is a bitch. Carla. What do you guys want? Oh, nothing. We're just checking up on you, darling. See how you're doing in the go-go world of ad sales. See what mistakes you've been making? Because you're such a bitch. Listen, I know that Yvette is axing someone because of pay cuts, but it's not going to be me. I already bribed her. And don't think that coming down here and, and bringing the weird girl with you is going to intimidate me. She called you weird, Cherie. <laughs> you are weird. You better watch your back, Carla. Because someone may or may not have filled up your filing cabinets with poisonous scorpions. Oh, is this your pen? You know what? I'm really sorry. That was so mean. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Thank you. I, I can get it. I can get it. It's fine. Just let me do it! There's a swarm of male guys. Why should I keep you around? Well, frankly, I'm really the only one that ever comes up here. I mean, have you ever seen another male guy? Point taken. Give me another reason. Besides you being attractive, I'm not attracted to you. This package I hold in my hands may or may not be for you. And without me, how will you ever know? Is it for me? I don't know. Where's it from? Cavity Corner's Chocolate Emporium. Is this a bribe? Mm, maybe. Leave it by the door on the way out. Draw six cards and you owe me $600. No, no, no. I have a get-out-of-jail-free card in the conservatory. Son of a bitch. Come in. Oh, Hannah, dear. Please, sit down. Hello, Hannah. Did you win on a date with that low-brow Theodore? Uh, well, yes I did, but how did you know? Hello? All seeing, all knowing, looking glass over here. Honestly. Don't mind him. He doesn't get out much. Now, what can I do you for, dear? Well, I wanted to ask you something. Does someone really need to get fired? Oh, honey, don't worry. We'll bounce back. We always do. You think it was easy when they started using paper money instead of just coins? You should have seen this place. I had to talk our CFO off the balcony. Well, I think I know what my grantor of the month wish is going to be. All right, we both know how this is gonna go down, sister. We're gonna sit here while everyone else out there thinks you're judging me for my work ethic, but instead we're gonna talk about that time we convinced Carla her parents were in the hospital. So why shouldn't I fire you? Because somewhere in there is a heart that cares. You mean, this? Oh god, what is that? At least I know where mine is. Perfect. Come in. 
Oh, Yvette, sweetie, there you are. How did your interviews go? Well, all day I watched my co-workers squirm in front of me like I was some sort of a tyrant, holding their very lives in the palm of my hands. So scared, so terrified. So all in all, it was a really good day. You know, Hannah wished for no one to be fired. I don't think I can grant it. Yes, you can. And here's how. This doesn't give me any pleasure, dearie. I know, but it's my choice. Although a lot of people did want me to fire Carla. Yes, I don't know what it is about her. She's just such a, um, bitch. She's a bitch. There. Payment deduction noted. Your checks will be 10% smaller. But nobody gets fired? That's the way it works. Good. You're a sweet girl, Yvette. Do you know that? Mm. Don't tell anybody. You want to wish off? You got it. The magic generator blew. It's going to take a couple hours to reboot. We're like stuck here? Yes, we're stuck here, Carla. God! Oh, right. Craig. I bet that you'd win Granter of the Month, and the prize was a date. You'd have to grant about two weeks' worth of wishes in one day. Then that's what I'll do. What are you guys fighting about? Shut, Shut up, up, Carla. Carla. Wow, those were all terrific reasons. God damn it, Carly, get out.